Hey everybody, welcome back to my story where I am sharing with you little nuggets from my past to show you how I got saved, how I came to know the Lord, what life was like after coming to know the Lord and how dynamic my experience was of meeting the Lord and how that dynamic, intense, supernatural encounter just kept going on and on and on through different experiences. Well, in my previous video, I talked about how an angel saved my life. Well, in this video, I want to talk to you about how God introduced me to the reality of spiritual war warfare. Now, what's so great about me coming to know the Lord? Well, me coming to know the Lord is was really great for God because I didn't really have any church experience. I mean, I might have gone to church like 10 times. I have less than like, I have like a couple different memories of going to church. That's it. Now, of course, my mom might disagree, but this is my story, okay? But I, I literally have like a couple ex memories of going to church. Um, and I know she was a religious person, that's for sure, but I had no memory of church. Meaning, I don't know, I didn't know anything about denominations and what denominations meant and why there were denominations. I knew nothing about anything. I thought the book of John was written by John the Baptist. Okay, I mean, I didn't even know what the Gospels were. I didn't know, I knew the Bible was this big book that had, like, lots of important stuff in it. But I mean, I literally had no like downloads of information in my head. Okay, so so there was no deprogramming necessary. So God could just reveal this stuff to me, completely whiteboard, and just write on it all of the truth from His own hand into my heart. And I think when God gets a hold of someone like that, that's why I think when. When God can grab a hold of a people group that's never really heard him, they oh, they can really get to know him for who he really is and not have to deprogram all the stuff that they heard maybe growing up in a religious home. Um, and so for me, my introduction to spiritual warfare was immediate because at the time, there was this person in my life and I really, really, really loved this person probably more than anybody. And I really wanted this person to come to know the Lord. And so I prayed for this person big time. Like I remember it was a one specific moment where I was, I was in the shower, I'm praying for this person to come to know the Lord. And I lived with the person at the time. And... You know the difference between praying for your food or, oh, well, God bless you, brother, that kind of prayer. And then there's this warfare prayer, like really intense intercession where you feel the presence of God, like, oh, gosh, just riding you like a surfboard kind of along this wave of just you're praying these things and you don't sometimes don't even know what you're praying. and But, you know, it's just this intense, targeted strike of prayer. That's what I was praying. It was very intense. Now that kind of prayer, it moves things in the spirit. In the spirit realm, things happen when you pray by the spirit, where you pray according to the spirit. I'm not just talking about speaking in tongues. I'm talking about where the spirit really moves you to pray and it's an intensely felt prayer. Stuff's happening, right? And that kind of stuff awakens the, the enemy to have to come and respond to you and say, hey, don't you be doing that. <laughs> and um, I remember one time sharing this revelation about this, there was this person in my life who was deeply bound up with demonic things, religious demonic things. And I shared with this person, I said, no, this is how it really works. For that one little moment in time, they were actually open to hear what I had to say about how the spiritual realm works. This was years later. Um, and lo and behold, that night, because I was speaking by the Spirit, and again, the Spirit of God was on me intensely to just whew, share this and share this revelation about how the spiritual realm works and how the enemy can get hold of our lives and put us in bondage. 
and all this stuff. And that night, this person was attacked physically by a demon. And basically what that demon did, that the presence of that demon freaked this person out to the point where they're like, I am not talking about that stuff anymore. And of course the demon's like, yes, mission accomplished. So for me, I was introduced, I was probably, again, only like a day or two or three old in the Lord. I had just prayed the prayer in the Food City parking lot, maybe. I don't know if it was that next morning, or but it was within a couple days. And I prayed for this person to come to know the Lord and praying all kinds of things that come off of them and all that. And, and then so I went into my bedroom and I'm getting myself some clothes. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to dress that dress in that day. And out of the corner of my eye, here comes my roommate. Because that's what it was. Here comes my roommate. Just appears out of nowhere. It was weird. Appears out of nowhere. And out of the corner of my eye, I can see this, this huge, I mean, grizz, standing up grizzly bear kind of black form around this person. And I knew right away, I knew right away, like, that's a demon. And, again, not knowing anything about this, I'm, I'm, of course, growing up, I'll share this some other time, but growing up, I was always very sensitive to spiritual things. I just didn't know that that's what that was until I came to know the Lord. But right away, I knew that is a demon. That's evil. Um, and right away, I knew the intent of that spirit was to kill me. It wanted to kill me. It wanted to hurt me badly, but more than that, it wanted to take my life. And I knew right then by the Spirit, I didn't, I, I didn't always understand this stuff either until much later, but it was the Holy Spirit sharing and revealing these things to me, saying that's what that is. It wants to kill you. <laughs> and But out of all of that, I wasn't afraid. You know, you see this kind of stuff in a horror show and you're freaked out. But I really was not afraid. I was very clear-minded and I was like, okay. And so I turned to address the person. And when I turned to address the person, it was like, whew, the thing like left. And their face went from like, err, to like, okay, I'm cool. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, I, I don't remember even what the conversation was about. But it's like, you know, I go from this mountain transfiguration moment of meeting the Lord and then having an angel save my life. And then I come down into the valley to having to deal with a demon, just the way Jesus did when he on Mount Transfiguration. After that, he went down and he had to rebuke a demon out of a kid. And it's like, because, you know, that is the nature of the world that we live in. God showed me this. It's like that's that's the nature of the of the world. It's like the world is inundated with demonic things and deceptions and lies and sugar-coated fantasies whatever the 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 enemy can do in his camp to deceive us and make us believe things that aren't true and so when we start praying when we start interceding when we start being hearing from the lord and being obedient to what he's telling us to do or say or both then the enemy is a lot of times going to respond like that but it was like nothing really came of it it was just a moment where god showed me like whoa this is and of course i've had a ton of experiences like that since then in 22 years man i've had demons jump on me in my sleep i've had demons attack me and a lot of times it is generally in response to prayer because just like that that little story i fit into this story about when I was trying to tell that person about the reality of spiritual warfare and this is the world we live in. This is how it, this is what Jesus came into to rescue us from the perverseness of this world, so to speak. That demon jumped on, on this person at night and wrestled with them for the purpose of getting them to not, to shut their ears again. No, don't listen to that stuff because that stuff's gonna set you free. That stuff's gonna loosen my grip on your life and then, no, you can't have that happen. And uh, and see, that's why Jesus came, he said, I came to undo the works of the devil. And the fact of the matter is Jesus coming to undo the works of the devil mean there is a devil. And God showed it to me, I mean, within a couple days, okay? Um, so that's that story. It's kind of hard to end these stories sometimes because there's so much of a to be continued to these things, but I'm going to stop there.
and just let you guys just hope you guys were blessed by that and you guys got to know that the reality of the spiritual war that we live in is just it's real you know but god is the answer i mean he jesus is the victor of it and we can get into more of that but um until uh, my next video um i hope you guys will subscribe to the channel so you can hear more of these stories i'll see you later